Caitlin Clark is winning. She is winning because she just got another NIL deal with Gatorade and her and Angel Reese just continue to, to, to rack up these NIL deals. And so because they do, people keep posing this question or suggesting that these two ladies should not come out of school and other athletes who have these deals and they have the chance both of them to return because they have COVID year so they they can return but to me I just don't get it Kelsey um endorsements exist at the pro level so um hello they exist at the pro level they're not gonna lose like it won't be NIL they'll get it in another form and also yep. they will get a WNBA salary so this notion yes. that they're gonna make more by staying in college versus going to the pro level is sort of ridiculous to me but also there are there are other reasons to want to go to the pro level besides just money so again if, if, if either one of them chooses to stay i will support it if that's their choice and that's what they want but again i don't know why we're trying to discourage it and not encourage players to go to the pro level so uh what what do you make of this um because you know we know the indiana fever just got the number one pick and they are excited in Indiana and they want Caitlin Clark and I want Kate and Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston to play together. Ooh. Just thinking about it now excites me. Okay, Kelsey? <laughs> it excites all of us, Nat. But, you know, just going back to this conversation, let's be honest, we have a lot of newbies to the WNBA world and a lot of newbies to college basketball um, and just women's basketball as a whole. So, right, in their eyes, all of a sudden, because we see women's college basketball gaining popularity, they can't, their peripheral can't see past what they currently see. Not realizing that right now in the WNBA, folks, if you do your math, when we look to next season, we have about 16 players right now on contract that will be making at least $200,000 in salary. Again, that's not their contract. That's what they're making this upcoming season alone. And then as we talk about sponsorship deals, two of the top players, a lot of us followed her in college, one of them being Skylar Diggins, who makes a lot more off endorsement deals and sponsorship deals, um, including her salary, and John Quill Jones. And I think I'm old enough to remember Rita and Nat, uh, Sabrina Inescu and the huge $24 million Nike deal. Like, have we just quickly forgotten that? I mean, I just, it's crazy to me and mind boggling to me. Like you're saying that, that people think that the money drops off. And I get it. The stereotype for a long time is that WNBA players don't make money. And that's the conversation that a lot of people are having. Again, not educating themselves on where things are currently right now. Brianna Stewart, another one. Look at the shoe that just dropped in Puma. I mean, it's just, again, if you're not watching the WNBA, maybe I can see how you're missing these things and again there's a lot of attention right now on angel reese and caitlin clark and so of course every time something happens but then we get excited as we should be it's good for college i mean i tweeted this caitlin clark is good for college basketball and if we're honest right now it's caitlin clark's world we're all just living in it i mean the girl just continues to just do it all leading and scoring getting these endorsement deals doing things her way and i absolutely love it for her but let's stop that narrative you talked about it her and leah boston pairing together and we saw what leah boston was able to do last year nat you look at the starting in a WNBA all-star game you talked about it unanimous folks WNBA rookie of the year and her going to Indiana fever team that were really trying to bounce back they had 13 wins this season better than 21 and 22 combined and a franchise that's trying to get back to glory days after Tamika Catchings left I think it's very exciting you know and just the possibilities right. of what can happen and a lot is happening with Indiana basketball i.e also happening so all that to say I love this and if they come out or not the WNBA will be fine with the players that are coming out so just stop the madness and educate yourselves guys on what the WNBA does.